What's good everybody, it's for Hamza, and today guys, I'm coming to you with a brand new combo tutorial. This time, it is going to be the Rescue Ace Archetype that comes out in Amazing Defenders. There's a cool, unique combos that you guys can do, but anyways, I'll explain those later on. Let's please guys, let's try and get 10 likes on the video. Um, comment again, because it helps push us through the YouTube algorithm, because we're trying to go absolutely crazy. And subscribe as well, if you have not already guys, because we're doing giveaways, we're rebranding all the socials as well guys. So I really appreciate everybody who's tuned in. But without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so starting off with the first combo, it is going to be Rescue Ace Hydrant plus Rescue Ace Fire Attack or any of the special summoning monsters. Essentially, what this deck wants to do is consistently be able to get to its main end board, which I will showcase you multiple ways on how to get to the end board. Then I got one pretty unique combo at the end. But again guys, we start off by going ahead and normal summoning our Rescue Ace Fire Hydrant. Um, from here, essentially Fire Hydrant says is, you don't care about this effect at all, I'll explain that in the deck profile. This card says, um, during the main phase, you can add one Rescue Ace monster from your deck to your hand. Again, Fire Attacker also says if a Rescue Ace monster other than itself is normal or special summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand and then if a card is added, but again, I'll only explain the main combo effects now um, and then for the end boards, I'll explain it as well, but then for anything else guys, I will explain the deck file just because I don't want to waste too much of your time, but again, if we summon this card, you can special summon this card, it's kind of like Photon Butter Spy in that respect. And then from here, what we do is we go ahead and use Hydrant. Hydrant can add us any monster, which is Turbulence. Turbulence says you can banish two Rescue Ace cards from your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. Turbulence is pretty good because it says two Rescue Ace cards from your graveyard, and you guys will understand that this doesn't necessarily have to be a monster. His effect, and he's kind of the reason why we play this deck, which I will show you guys um, very soon, but again, we link these two monsters away into IP Masquerina, which is going to be a very, very like kind of consistent or end board that we're going for, and we'll banish two to some Rescue Ace Turbulence, and now we will go ahead and fire off Turbulence's effect now this is what i was saying you you guys are probably confused like oh my god why is he setting so many cards like what what is going on basically guys turbulence says during your main phase you can set up to four rescue ace quick play spells and or normal traps with different names directly from your deck if another card you control leaves the field by opponent's card effect target one card on the field and destroy it so this is pretty good again each effect is only once per turn um turbulence is pretty good so again the main effect is set up to four with different names there's only four in the metagame currently right now um but i think ocg got a fifth one i'm not too sure but that one was like okay but yeah, so uh, the first card is Extinguish. Extinguish says, if you control a Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster, your opponent controls, destroy it. Then, if you control Rescue Ace Hydrant this turn, your opponent cannot activate the effects of the destroyed monster. This is good because if you go Extinguish, you can pop. It's kind of like a Dryden, um, kind of like a Masterpiece in that respect. Um, but again, if you have the Hydrant on board, which I will show you guys later, um, you can essentially pop the card. And then if it's a card that floats like Kick Hallows, you won't be able to activate its effects. Um, the other card is Alert. Alert says add one Rescue Ace monster from your graveyard to your hand. Or if you control Rescue Ace Hydrant, you can add one Rescue Ace monster from deck to your hand instead. So again, Alert's pretty good, um, especially if you have Hydrant. Um, and then again, it's a good recursion card as well. Contain says if you control Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster your opponent controls this turn. That effect monster cannot attack. It's faction negated. Also, if you control it, you kind of no material it. Again, having Hydrant on board is very crucial. And then the final card is target one Rescue Ace monster in your graveyard. Or if you control, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it. So basically, we have a pop here. Um, we have a wait, is this a pop? Yeah, we have a pop here. We have a like warrior returning a live effect. We have an effect veiler like a Phoenix chain, and then we also have a monster reborn quick play. So again, that's pretty good. This again, this is the consistent end board that you guys will be ending on. On top of that, you do end with an IP Masquerina. Note that this is also a two card combo. Um, so you still would have three more cards in your hand as well So you have cards to play with Masquerina as well And then Turbulence has a niche effect where it says if another card you control leaves the field by opponent's card effect So basically if they kind of like mess around um, Removing this IP Masquerina Turbulence can go ahead and pop a card anyways, so it's pretty good But let's move on to the second combo all right, guys, so now we are on to the second combo. And like I was saying before, the main objective of this combo is to get Turbulence on the board as fast and as consistent as possible. So this is another way of doing it. We're going to go ahead and activate Rescue Ace Air Holster's effect. Now, this is a new one. I haven't shown you yet this one. He says, if he's normal spell summon, add one Rescue Ace spell from deck to your hand, which is absolutely crazy. Um, the other effects, again, like I said before, you don't really need to worry about them. I will explain them in the deck profile very soon. But again, yeah. Uh, we use Holster's effect. Holster will go ahead and add us any spell. This grab us the field spell. The field spell is absolutely broken, and the reason for this is this: like while you are while your opponent controls a monster, you your monster's attack gain 500 attack and defense. I don't know what just happened there. During your main phase, you can normal summon run one Rescue Ace monster in addition to your normal summon. Once per turn, target four of your Rescue Ace cards that are banished and or in your graveyard, shuffle them, then draw one card. So now you can see the recursion, and also gives you an additional normal summon as well, plus an attack boost. This field spell is absolutely pretty crazy. Um, and again, if we are to get more support, I could definitely see this deck being fringe rogue for sure. But yeah, 
we go ahead we use this it gives us our additional normal summon and then hydrant will be able to trigger and hydrant can get us our turbulence from here what we can do is we can go ahead and link our monsters away special summon out our guy um ip mascarina and then banish to and special out turbulence and then from here turbulence will go ahead to set our four cards now in specific instances but like if we've already gone through four cards we can use headquarters to shuffle and draw but again like i said before we just set the same cards as well like always so we get this uh, the ad we get the warrior returning alive we get the pop and we get the tech negate ip mascarina as well but that's it for the second combo guys now let's get into the third combo so guys now we are on to the third combo and the third combo is just going to show the versatility the consistency of the deck and other um things of that nature but yeah we're going to activate period rise map this will add us a level one with zero attack which is rescue Ace hydrant then from here what we do go ahead and do is we go ahead and proceed to normal summon hydrant um and then use hydrant to add turbulence from here we go ahead and activate alert and basically alert says add one rescue Ace monster from your grave to your hand or if control you can add a monster from your deck to your hand instead so this will go ahead and add us our fire engine and then from here what we do is we go ahead and we link our monster away into link rebo reason why we do this is we need two rescue ace cards and this is what i was saying in the combo before where it doesn't matter if it's a monster or a, a spell card because it says specifically any card so being able to banish alert and hydrant is pretty good in that respect as well and then from here you'll special summon fire engine because again your opponent has fire engine and then from here what we go ahead and link our monsters away into our uh sunlight wolf and then from here we can go ahead and set our card again sunlight wolf is pretty good because now that you have cards in your graveyard which is um rescue ace fire engine essentially like this is all like uh situationally based anyways but like say for example we have i think it's this one here target one uh, you control target yeah so say it's like this card here and we already have like an ash blossom or we have like other cards in our graveyard as well you can use rescue to reborn fire engine to sunlight wolf and then just add a fire monster back to your hand so it's it's pretty good again you can still go ip mascarina i just want to show you different variances of this combo because it'd be very boring to just see the same combo and over and over again um but yeah it's just another variant this can be any sort of card as well but i just felt like sunlight wolf was pretty cool um being able to like just grab a card and special summon it and then being able to trigger get back a fire monster loop your resources things of that nature for sure but now moving on to the next combo so guys now we're on to the fourth combo and i'm sure you guys are realizing it's a pretty straightforward deck it's very simple but again i'm going to invite you guys to go ahead and leave a like on the video if you have not already subscribe if you have not already guys because we are on the journey of going absolutely crazy consistency wise so i'd really appreciate it guys and again comment if you have not already because that helps us really push through the algorithm and i appreciate it a lot guys anyways starting off with the fourth combo we go ahead and we use a new guy which is essentially um our gizmek uh naganaki the sunrise signaler now the reason why this card is different is this card essentially says trigger one machine monster whose attack equals its own defense which is itself kind of like a lone fire blossom does some from your deck one machine whose attack equals its own defense with a lower level than the attributed monster then he has a cool effect where you can banish this card add to your hand one of your banished face down machine monsters you don't need to worry about that the only effect you need to worry about is the little effect that we have which is being able to special summon out our rescue hydrant be again this is a lone fire blossom so you guys see we play the map we play the naganaki we play the hydrant there are a bunch of ways of getting him so again um consistency is not an issue with this deck so we go ahead we get the hydrant now we are going to activate fire attacker first um because hydrant isn't a trigger it's like an ignition or whatever you want to call it but yeah so we go ahead and we trigger the fire attacker and then we could drop fire engine as well um and then you go ahead and activate hydrant now to get turbulence again even if this instance didn't work where like you can only activate one and not the other you just chain it to itself anyways but yeah this will go ahead and add us our turbulence and then from here we can link our monsters away into ip mascarena and then we can go ahead and banish to special summon out our turbulence so from here there are a little there are different ways that you can do so this is a step four essentially there are different ways of being able to do this combo one of the ways is you can get fire engine and the reason why i chose fire engine specifically instead of hydrant is because you guys see that he says um blah blah if your opponent special summons a monster you can special summon one level four lower rescue monster from your hand deck or graveyard so basically this will enable you to special summon hydrant from your deck um and then this will be able to make the other cards live if you don't want to go that route you can for sure just link fire engine and the fire attacker away instead and keep hydrant on board but this way you get more monsters on the board to play with more things and being able to have things like this enable your um kind of your disruption because you're not really going to be disrupting their initial normal summon um or anything like that you're only going to be disrupting like their special summon, like their extra deck monsters and again um fire engine only triggers on special summon so you can get hydrant and you don't even need to worry about hydrant being attacked because hydrant says well i control rescue ace monster 
monster, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. Also, you can't target it with card effects as well. So Hydrogen is pretty good. He's a very sticky card as well. And then again, you have protection also. So it's a pretty good combo, guys. It is a three-card combo, but again, like I said before, consistency is not an issue with this deck. But now let's move on to the fifth and final combo. So guys, now we are on to the fifth and final combo. And this combo, guys, it's probably one of the better ones because the two-card combo, the last one, it ends you on a little better board. But this one's a pretty good combo as well. Again, guys, leave a like on the video, comment what you guys want to see next, and let's get right into this last combo. Um, hopefully, I didn't blow your eardrums up. But yeah, we go ahead, we summon off our Naganaki. Now, we use Naganaki's effect because, like I said before, it is a lone fire. Naganaki can get us Hydrant. From here, we go ahead and we can proceed to activate Machine Duplication, which will go ahead and summon out our two monsters. Again, from here, the world is your oyster. You guys can choose any type of play you want. If you want to do a Link play, if you want to do like a, an XYZ play, whatever you guys want to do, the world is your oyster. You guys can do whatever you want. But for us, we're very basic. We're very simple. Again, we want to show you the super basic. So we go ahead and summon out our Hydrant. Now, Hydrant is unfortunately a once per turn. If it wasn't, this would be absolutely bonkers but it's once per turn but from here we can go ahead and we can use hydrant's effect i thought i messed up because i thought i normal summon this guy but then i realized that naganaki was my normal summon we can go ahead and add our turbulence link our monsters away into our ip special out the turbulence by banishing the cards and then from here we can go ahead and set our four another thing as well is this is that this is a consistent way to absolutely end up getting your cards on the board i ended up just like reshuffling completely i don't know why but yeah like i said before that's another consistent way of being able to end it onto your board and then from here again i just wanted to showcase like another other combo that i could do but i think i ended up messing up because i was like okay if you go hydrant you can go ahead and add air holster instead and then when i read air holster i was like oh it should have been fire attacker then you special on fire attacker and you can link your monsters away but it doesn't really matter um in that regard because like again like i was saying before there's so many things that you guys can do depending on what other cards you have in your hand as well so again those are five combos guys i really hope you like the video guys but yeah so guys, that was the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you made it to the end of the video and are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe as it helps us a lot and comment anything that you guys want as well because like I said in the intro, it helps us push through the algorithm. But without further ado guys, my name is Hamza and like I always say, keep on shining, never go on your dreams. Peace.